Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101 and today we are going to do a quick overview video of the new Evolution saw, uh, circular saw that they've come out with. Um, there's going to be a series of uh, three videos um, that I'm going to do with this saw. Um, first one I'll do uh, quite an in-depth overview of actually of the saw itself um, and then the second one I will do a comparison between uh, the new one that we see here and the old one that I have also as well. In fact I've got two of them I've got the Fury 1B and there's the I'm, I have got the uh, um, Rage 1B around here as well which is the previous versions of this saw so uh, we'll have a quick overview of this of this particular saw now and uh, then I'll be able to um, sort you out with the other videos the usual thing that I usually find with a lot of tools coming out of not just from evolution but from uh, a lot of the other manufacturers as well as the fact the first thing that I noticed with this is that it has quite a nice long cord um, now I, I think this is about three meters or something like that two meters three meters um, only complaint is a little bit stiff but at least they managed to put a long cord on it for a change at least I think that it's uh, you know manufacturers are starting to listen to us now um, you know in, in say look we want some longer cords on our on our power tools now which was which is a good thing I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all um, it's good weight in your hand uh, it's very very good weight in your hand um, you know it's a, it's a good grip on the uh, actually on the on the handle itself it's got some rubber rubberized handle and uh, is it, is it the trigger is very 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 good um, good good nice positive click on the on the on the trigger and you have to push the little stop button in there to even to put to activate the machine very very good uh, as, as you can see you probably won't see on the top there but it is a 1200 watt motor and it runs at uh, 3700 uh, rpms or whatever you want to call that um, and it's a 185 uh, mil blade in diameter and it's a 20 mil bore so if anyone has to replace the blade that's in there whether they put a wood blade or whether they put a uh, another metal cutting blade that's you know that's the one to get um, the other thing I did notice about this I'm going on about the handle here that this handle on that you hold on to here I've noticed that they've actually put that uh, a little bit of a, a, a skew now a lot of people say oh why they've done that but 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 it does actually make it a little bit more better to hold on to the actual saw because you naturally your hand wants to go around that way um you've, you've probably seen it as well that, that they do some keyboards that are um uh, they're they a funny angle like this so you can actually uh, type with them as well they don't as they have a straight keyboard they've implemented that same same type of thing into you know this handle um but it's good the, the old one used to have a, a handle that went right round here which was okay but you know this this is i think you'll find this is the better option uh, it comes with a nice lever action here uh for doing your doing your bevels which i think is a very very good uh very very good uh, option there to, to, for doing your bevels i think that's very very good um the old one used to have a like a twist screw type thing on there um which is you know is okay but this is this is a better better way of get about going about things um the base yeah i'm i'm not a fan of press steel uh bases you know sole plates i'm not a fan of of, of them but this one's got one and it, it, it's quite sturdy to be honest with you for the for the actual price of this saw you know the price point and everything else you you wouldn't expect anything more than than what this is um you know but this this is this is actually quite sturdy for the price point of this saw um i've actually checked out to see whether the um on there 
to see whether they are actually uh, ac quite accurate and they aren't bad to tell the truth um, you know that there um, is marginally I think is about 0.5 of a degree out or something like that and I'm not going to worry about 0.5 I never use bevels when I'm using the circular saw anyway but uh, there's other things that I found that uh, you know I have I've got my gripes don't go over the comments don't get me wrong there, there is this has issues but uh, I've found too big an issue with it uh, at, the, at this point in time um, but there's um, you know the guard and everything else that they put on here it's very very good spring it's nice spring on there that to, to you know for the for the guard to spring back um, you know the, these these little plastic bits I, th I think that they could have slowly improved them a little bit they could have made them a little bit different but you, you know you're not going to put any you're not you're not going to Graunched down on it or anything like that or, or anything like that. It is what it is. It's just a, a you know a handle just to flip that round um, There is a another one at the back here that you can see uh, That you flip that up like that and that gives you your You know the height of your or the depth of your blade uh, You know so you don't have to have all the blade going through just a single bit of board you can just have the that, which you're supposed to do is just have the tips of the of the blade going actually through the bottom of your board or whatever or the bit of wood that you're cutting the one thing i have found with this this particular saw is that they put on put on board tool storage uh very very good i know it's just an allen key or allen wrench or hex key or whatever you want to call it these days but um, it is very good idea that you know you don't lose it it's in place it's there you're not it's not going to go anywhere you know whenever you want it it's there uh but obviously your allen wrench is going to be used for uh for the arbor nut there's all the bolt that's here for put installing your blade i haven't installed the blade yet because i really haven't got around to using this yet uh, as yet i've got other circular saws around here so i don't need to use this um but i will will use it obviously in the next couple of videos for the reviews and everything else um but uh it is very very good and you know you have the usual uh the usual stop there for your blade so you better you know there's a usual positive stop so you better install the blade uh it has got you know just no just notice this actually it's got some uh some marks down here um so you better know how far you're actually through the through your piece of wood that's a very good idea that's a very good feature and they've also got if you can see you won't be able to see there but it is i'll, I'll try and put get a, um, a photograph of this uh but they actually got marks on here um divisions as well so you would be able to tell how far away from the blade that you are actually cutting as well that's a very good idea that they've uh, they put in there but uh, all in all, I think this saw is, is, a, is a very, very good upgrade to the old one. Uh, there are, you know, there are a few things that, you know, I would gripe about it. I would like to have seen uh, this, this through here. It is just, it's simply just a roll pin that goes through there for the actual, so when you, when you tilt the saw, that's where, that's the actual place there where the, where the joint is just here. Now I, I would I wouldn't like to have seen a roll pin. I would like to have seen a decent nut and bolt through there. Um, but they just, they put a roll pin, which is you know one of my little gripes. But that's or you know it does what it does. And and like I said, you know for the price point of this saw, you you know you aren't going to expect much more. But my biggest gripe of all is they've tried to improve the dust collection on this saw and it's uh, they they've they haven't done a very good job it is it's my personal opinion now on the old saw it used to have a great big uh port on the side here and uh we'll see that in the next video but there's a great big port on the side here which you'll be able to put your dust collection into and in in my own um fury 1b I've actually put um, uh, a DeWalt, one of the DeWalt um, connectors in there, so you can connect. I connect up my DeWalt airlock system, 
Um, if you ever want, if you want to see the film or see the uh, video on the Dewalt uh, airlock system, I'll pop a link down below so you can actually what, see what that is all about. But uh, they've tried to improve it, and uh, I think they've done not a very good job of it. Uh, you know, they they they've got this connector here that obviously goes onto your hose, and this then will connect into there. Um, but you, you can see here that the diameter of there is, is, is so small that you are actually cho choking your vacuum that you're going to be putting into this. Um, you know, keep it all the same diameter of the pipe that you're connecting to it. You know, let's face it, you, you, everyone knows that their, um, their vacuum that they use in the home uh, for cleaning their carpets and whatever is a bigger diameter than that. So why have they made that so small? And this is this is exactly the same. This is this is about the well, it's smaller than that. So why have they made that that goes into the into your own hose and then they connected that so it goes reducing down again to go all the way around here. And I, this isn't the only little gripe that I found with the uh, dust collection on this machine. That I, you you can't see it, but inside there, half of this shroud is covering up half a half of this this pipe as well so you're only getting they reduce the uh, you know the the diameter here and then right down in there they've reduced it again so you you know you're going from a quite a big pipe of of what you have on your vacuum you whatever you use whether anyone's using you know for for an example a henry hoover or something like that if someone's using one of those, they're going to reduce the re reduce the diameter down to that, and then they're reducing it down again inside there. You know, so they're they're they're, they're stifling their or, or suffocating their own little vacuum. They're going to, have to be taken off of here. So that's my own little gripe at the moment that the vacuum, for the you know, the takeoff side of this is absolutely rubbish. They haven't, they, they tried to improve it, but they haven't done a very good job in my opinion. Um, but apart, apart from that, the rest of the saw, absolutely brilliant. I, I can't fault it. You know, I, 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 and it has an electric brake on the motor. So as soon as, as soon as you let go of the trigger, the electric brake cuts in in within a couple of seconds you know it's even less than that i think it's about a second the the blade is stopped you know which on the old one it never done that and i will show you that in the next video but uh, this it's very very good uh, they they've made so many improvements on over the old one but the main improvement that they tried to improve they haven't done a very good job of in my that's my opinion so there is going to be some uh, I, I will post some more uh, pictures up above so you can actually see the pictures of what I'm what I'm talking about um, or oh, I have done um, but uh, apart from that very very good I, I can't fault it you know apart from dust collection they put a decent long cord on it for a change what can I say well there we go, uh, the ev new Evolution Circular Saw. Now this is the R185CCSL if anyone's interested in you know, getting one from Evolution. I fully recommend anyone to go and actually go out if they want to go out and get themselves a, um, I wouldn't say budget saw, um, but uh, it's it, this one will be up to the task of whatever you want it to you know to go through and at the same time you aren't you know particularly wanting to go out and buy it just for wood you've got it for all multi-purposes as well i will well recommend uh this saw um to anyone that wants to you know go and purchase a saw for doing whatever they whatever work they want to be doing around their home um as for site work and stuff like that, I'm uh, doubtful whether anyone you know that's in the trade would want to go and buy one. 
but um, that's entirely up to them. It depend depend on how much they actually use one, you know, particular, you know, a circular saw on site. Um, but uh, I'm sure that Evolution be able to supply one in 110 for for site work. I'm not sure. You have to contact Evolution Tools um, for that. But uh, as for the saw itself, absolutely brilliant. It comes with a blade, as you can see here. It comes with the 80, 185. It is a thin curved blade, so it makes it a little bit easier on the on the motor. Uh, you know, it has all the usual things. It does actually say on there steel, aluminium, wood, plastics, and all this sort of thing that it will actually cut on that blade. Um, I recommend, like I say, I recommend you buy it, but there has to be some more uh, work done with the dust extraction side of things. I've, I think that they've they, they've done at it rather than done something with it. Um, but that's just my own personal opinion. I, I'm sure that other people have a, a different different opinion of it. Um, you know, I, I have modified my my other saw because the dust extraction uh, on there wasn't exactly brilliant um, but I'm sure that uh, I, you know I get down to it I will actually be modifying this one as well but uh, it's a very good saw apart from that uh, they, they put a decent long lead on it makes a change for putting a decent long lead um, you know it, even though the, the lead is a little stiff it could have been a rubberized but then again I'm not asking too much they they've only just got round to putting a new cord on it so or a longer one anyway so let's not ask too much of them to do that but uh, there we go uh, please do remember that uh, this is the first one in a series of videos that I'm going to do I'm going to do a series of three uh, then obviously the next one is going to be uh, I'll do a, a comparison between the old version of the circular saw and this new version that they they brought out. Um, I do have two of the two of the old versions. Uh, I've had the Fury One B, and I also have the Rage One B, which is exactly the same saw in a, in a sense. They're just in a different um, different colour on the outside. But this one is obviously the newer one of the two or three. So uh, there we go. Uh, you can contact me on the usual, uh, you know, the usual sort of media sites and stuff like that, you know, Facebook, in Instagram, Twitter. I invite you to make a comment down below because uh, it, positive and negative, it doesn't really matter. It, it helps me bring out better content for you people out there. And, you know, and that's what it's all about for me. Um, please subscribe to the channel and good put a like on it because, uh, you know, it all helps at the end of the day and uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye.